Já teve aqui um dispositivo qualquer. Hello guys, welcome back! We are once more into the Beira Baixa region of Portugal. It's a great sunny Sunday, so we decided to spend the afternoon on a very special fluvial beach in the Serra da Estrela region, the tallest mountain on continental Portugal. But first, we are going to visit a unique village named Castelo Novo, meaning New Castle in Portuguese. Then, a visit to a glamping site in the Gardunha Mountains, have lunch on a restaurant full of history of the origins of Portugal and end up on that incredible river beach on the mountains. Lady Wolf is once more in front, ready to rock, so let's go! <laughs> I'm going to need to be on my toes to keep up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be gentle with you. Welcome back guys, this ride is pretty easy. Wait till we get to the mountain roads, I just love it. Let's go!
So, let's show you this precious spot. Over here we have the Castelo Novo Villages Fluvial Beach. A wonderful little place if you want to relax with crystal clear waters for a cold swim in these hot summer days. Lots of grass to put your beach towel. Not much shadow, but still okay. Several spots for bathing, including children. But these amazing crystal clear waters come straight from the depths of the Gardunha mountain, so they are a bit cold. Also, there's a bar with food and beverages and water closet facilities. It's one of my favorite fluvial beaches, and I think Lone Wolf likes it too. I do indeed. I still remember the nice swim we had here on that very hot summer's day. It was refreshing. <laughs> now, we welcome you to Castelo Novo, Portuguese for Newcastle. This little village has some historic significance since the first occupations date from the Calcolithic or Age of Copper period, evolving into the Bronze Age and consolidating during the Roman times. The existence of the village date as old as Portugal itself, having the first foral dating 1202, known by then by the name of Alpriada. The name of Castelo Novo only appears in 1208 in the will of Dom Pedro Guterres, Lord of Alpriada, in which he gives the land of Castelo Novo to the Knights Templars. Castelo Novo, or new castle name origin, reveals that there was an old castle nearby in the Gardunha Mountains, but that one has been lost with the winds of time but it's possible to visit some vestiges. Here in Castelo Novo, you can visit not only the fluvial beach we pass through, but a couple of churches, chapels, a pillory, and of course, the main castle dating from 8th century. We love this old village. It's full of medieval houses and streets. It's a perfect place to come by and dwell into the far past of these lands. These mountains that envelop Castelo Novo almost all around are the Gardunha mountain range, so called by the Moors, Gardunha or Guardunha meaning refuge, and it is located in central Portugal, beyond the Serra da Estrela mountain range, giving way to the extensive plain called Beira Baixa province, just to the south. It was covered with vineyards in the time of King Diniz, who reigned in the 13th and 14th centuries, but the sovereign decided to pull them up and replace them with chestnut trees all over, making the area became known as the King's Groves. Unfortunately, though, due to man's negligence, violent fires destroyed a significant number of trees, although some areas were reforested. Pyramid is the highest point in the Gardunha mountain range with about 1223 meters. Okay, so let's find a place to park our bikes and let's visit the castle.
and we are working out. Onde é que nós descemos da outra vez? De onde é que nós descemos da outra vez? Por ali. Aquela ali. É porque a serra, a serra envolve isto. Envolve isso. Queria... Ah, é? Sim, que é para aquele lado. Ali é o Monsanto, não é? Eu estou a dizer, estou a dizer o Monsanto ali. Hã? Ah? Monsanto. Sim, Monsanto. Já teve aqui um dispositivo qualquer. Awesome. 